Hi, uh, Jonathan York Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. Uh, now under two weeks uh, to go until the US election. I'm really getting pretty tight. It looks like it's going to come down to those sort of seven or eight key swing states. And the biggest problem the Republicans have is they're just trying to keep tra uh, Trump on track and on script. But in terms of the U.S. economy, you know, it's pushing along at a pretty good rate. And, you know, it's really quite interesting that, uh, you know, several Fed officials have now come out and said, given the state of the economy, um, potentially rates don't have to come down as quickly as uh, first anticipated and certainly what the market was pricing in. Now let's see in the 10 year uh, push back up uh, about 4%, it's currently uh, just around sort of 420 and the two years around 403. So that's an increase of around 25 basis points over the last couple of weeks. When you look at the data, you know, inflation is certainly falling, but you've still got a reasonably robust uh, jobs market, and you've got a reasonably robust economy as well. And certainly the earnings season that's going through at present, um, you know, most of the earnings that are coming through are on the positive side. So really just going to be very interesting to see how it plays out over the next couple of weeks. Now Putin as well sort of flexing his uh, sort of muscle out there with uh, you know, a meeting of uh, 35 world leaders, um, China, India, Iran, uh, countries like that are sort of uh, meeting in, uh, in Moscow and uh, you know, Putin's making a big show of this. Well all the time the uh, sort of war in uh, Ukraine uh, is that, you know, come February, uh, we'll be dragged into its fourth year. Now, oil after falling back below 70 bucks is a sort of spike back and it's currently 72 and change. Now in the UK they're facing a pretty important budget because you know there is a pretty uh, reasonable hole there in the uh, public for, uh, sector finances and you know the government's got to try and plug that and sort of fill that gap. So potentially that looks like sort of tax increases. But also as well with the economy to sort of really sluggish out there but inflation falling is now below that 2% uh, level. Um, we expect the Bank of England to cut interest rates pretty aggressively over the next sort of three to six months. Now the ECB as expected did cut interest rates taking their cash rate down to a 325. And that's really on the back of again falling inflation numbers which was below 2%. The question is will we see a further rate cut from the ECB before year end? Now Australian Minerals and Resources got a bit of a boost after the uh, Chinese bank has uh, cut their uh, base lending rate by 25 basis points. So that gave the Australian economy a little bit of a boost, but still not expecting any rate cut from the Reserve Bank of Australia until sort of February. Now here in New Zealand, the latest CPI data was again very encouraging, 2.2 versus 3.3 for the previous quarter. But after the Reserve Bank cut interest rates by 50 basis points, 
Um, potentially, you know, looking at a further 50 basis points uh, cut in November. But after that latest uh, CPI data, that's when talk about a potential 75 basis point cut now because the economy is still very sluggish. And also remember as well, the meeting at the end of November, the next meeting after that is not until uh, sort of mid-February 2025. That was yet, uh, despite the mortgage rate sort of cuts on the floating rate, um, you know, most uh, um, sort of New Zealanders have their uh, mortgages fixed um, and potentially around 50% of those fixed mortgages will be refinanced in the next sort of six odd months. So that's going to be the lag sort of effect for the actual rate cut for the official cash rate to actually sort of filtering through into the economy in terms of uh, more disposable income. And certainly if you saw a 75 basis point cut in November, then those mortgages that are going to be refinanced in sort of February and March will see a real, uh, real impact on uh, household spending. So if you are looking for income options, go to the website www.baycanancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles and we we'll look forward to speaking to you soon.